have many homeowners, many clients that, that uh, request actually larger systems than what they have, thinking that that's going to solve whatever challenges that they have. So there's a big myth out there, bigger's better. And when it comes to heating and air conditioning, that is absolutely not the case. Let's take a look at an air conditioner. If we oversize your air conditioner, if we put a bigger air conditioner in, here's what's going to happen. When you go to dial in Switzerland in the summertime and turn that thermostat to 72 degrees and it kicks on that air conditioner, if the air conditioner is a bigger system than what the house calls for, it'll actually cool the home down so fast that it won't give it an opportunity to pull the humidity out. So what you end up with is a cold and clammy environment. Imagine sitting in a cave for your living room. Now we're not the Flintstones at this day and age, so it's not gonna be comfortable. So there's a way to optimize a system to where it gets your house cool in, the, in an appropriate amount of time while pulling the proper humidity. Very important. When it comes to heating, now when I was, when I was a youngster, we had one of those big old giant oil furnaces with wood and things like that. And I remember we'd go fire that thing up and it was like a beast just firing up in the middle of the night and blasts of warm air came out of the registers and would just literally cook anyone that was standing anywhere close. But then you walk over about 15 feet away and it's freezing cold on that corner of the house. If you oversize a furnace, it's actually gonna, again, heat the home up so fast that you create hot and cold spots within your home. If you undersize the furnace, the furnace is gonna run so long that it's gonna drive your energy bills through the roof. So we do what's called opticizing. There's an absolute right size for your home based upon insulation, windows, size of home, and your comfort needs.